Yes? Here you are. By the way, uh, did you have that meeting with Maine Waring today? Yes, sir, I sure did. Yeah, our lawyers will be talking in a few days. Everything's gonna be just fine. Oh, I ran into Andy Bradley and Wade Luce. Oh? I don't think we're gonna be bothered by those boys in the future. Well, that's what we've needed all along, G.R., somebody like Maine Waring with us. Not punks like Ames and Gar. Say that again. Well, how about I buy you a drink? Mm, how about two? <laughs> Ma'am, Bobby. Hey, Daddy. I didn't see your car in the driveway. Where is it? Lent it to Lucy. You let Lucy drive your car? Yeah, she wanted to go in town and see young Mainwaring. Is that right? Well, well. Young love. How about that, huh? Hey, Dad. I've been thinking of getting a car for Lucy for graduation. It's about time she had one of her own, you know. I think so. What's he up to now? I don't know. But it's not going to work. Not this time. Oh, hello, uh, ladies. Have a nice day. Very nice. We had a wonderful speaker, Mr. Park. Did you now? Oh, he's very nice and also very intelligent. Well, that's wonderful. Can I get you ladies a drink? A bourbon. Uh, nothing for me, J.I. Sue Ellen had another of her dizzy spells today. We're all a little worried about her. Anything serious? No, absolutely nothing. I phoned the doctor and she said that there was absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, hello, Lucy. Hello. What are you doing home, Lucy? Thought she was having dinner with Kit. Kit and I had a fight. The wedding is off. Lucy. Oh, those things happen. What do you mean the wedding's off, honey? That can't be. Yes, it can. I don't want to marry him. Well, you, you'll feel different tomorrow. No, I won't. He's just too possessive. I couldn't stand to be married to someone as jealous as he is. I mean, if I just say two words to another man, he just goes into a rage. What happened, Lucy? We were walking, and I saw an old friend of mine, and I started talking to him. And Kit accused me of flirting. Well, you know me. I probably was. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready to settle down yet. That's nonsense. I'm not going to marry him, J.R., and that's all there is to it. And nothing you do can make me change my mind. I'm not going to get married for a very long time. Daddy, tell her. It's up to her, J.R. She doesn't want to get married, she doesn't have to. You leave her alone, J.R. You understand? Excuse me, I want to go inside. Honey, let me talk to her. Well, I really do think we should be going. Goodbye. performance you gave out there. Kit's got a lot to be grateful to you for. And I'm very proud of you. You're turning out to be quite a lady. Why? Why did he do it, Bobby? Well, he was trying to change his life. Huh? That's a pretty tall order. But he loves you. You know that, don't you? If he didn't love you, he'd have gone right on ahead with that wedding. It takes a lot of guts for a man to tell you what he did. Oh, it's so awful, Bobby. It hurts so much. I know. When will it stop? Well, not for a while. But it will stop. I promise. <laughs>